Um, first main topic to talk about tonight um, is kind of a big one. Is I, I suspect the 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 government's using the Biden uh, the the Suga trip to America to meet Biden. Um, and the ongoing Olympics and uh, COVID escalations and whatnot is a slight smokescreen for the decision to finally uh, release all of that uh, wastewater from the Fukushima Daiichi plant into the Pacific Ocean. There's been a bit more, there's been a lot more information about this this week going around. Um, so yeah, essentially, uh, I think I've mentioned this before, when, when the reactor effectively melted down uh, in 2011, um, they needed to basically uh, pump, as with the normal nuclear reactor, they needed to pump water to stop, to, to, to keep the melted material and whatnot cool. Um, I don't think they actually run this route. Doesn't actually, the, the, the wastewater apparently doesn't contain plutonium or, or material from the rods. It's still done to cool the outside uh, of, of the tank or the containment tank or whatever. And uh, yeah, essentially, um, the the interaction of the water used to cool the rods and the... the um, uh, and the radiation uh, results in a generation of tritium, uh, which is a radioactive uh, substance uh, inside of the wastewater, which uh, is, is let out in, in a normal nuclear power plant. Uh, normally, this is what this what they sort of keep keep the rods submerged in, and they always renew it. This is why nuclear power plants are always just about always beside the ocean. It's because they use the seawater to cool the rods, and you know they run it through the rods, and in that process, it generates a bunch of tritium. Um, there are different standards in most countries for the uh, level of tritium that you're allowed in drinking water. I, you know, for example, there are standards for um, how radioactive, how much uh, tritium you can have in the water supply. Because, of course, you know, here's the radiation occurs naturally, you know, to some extent in different places. It's quite funny because some places like Europe, uh, Australia, for example, have very, very high uh, levels where they'll allow tritium to be in drinking water. Japan is one of the stricter countries. And on top of Japan's strict standard, apparently what they are saying is is that um, because the water that was uh, used for cooling Fukushima uh, was basically they didn't pump it back out into the ocean. They do, they weren't sure what to do with it, so they put it all into tanks for ten years. And there is like millions and millions, um, uh, probably actually billions of tons. There's, there's a, a crazy amount of water. The government says that it doesn't contain fallout, and they say that it's been diluted to uh, basically be more diluted than usual nuclear power plant runoff. So essentially, um, the water in these is, is, is no different. In fact, if anything, the same or better than, than wastewater, which is normally let into the ocean by nuclear power plants in Europe or in Korea or in China or America or wherever else, you know, which, um, again, some people wouldn't want any coolant water um, you know, running off into the ocean from these plants. But it's, it's a normal thing in most uh, countries that have nuclear power. Um, of course, the big difference is, is that rather than letting it just sort of trickle out on an ongoing basis into the ocean, they've, uh, they've got 10 years worth stored up and lying on the shore. The plan is to release it all over two years. Um, and uh, they assure that it has been diluted to the point that it would actually contain uh, less tritium than, um, for example, the output of nuclear power plants in South Korea and China let out into the Pacific Ocean. Uh, but of course, there's a huge volume and they're doing it in a short period of time. And there isn't really a, a precedent for doing this. And of course, you've just got the old, uh, it's Fukushima contaminated radiation water going into the ocean, you know, everybody panic uh, reaction, uh, which really more than anything piles onto the people who particularly make a living, the fisher, the fisher people. Fish. I think you still have to say fishermen. There's probably a more PC word for it nowadays. Um, but those people have just been able to basically finally start selling fish again. They're freaking out. It's not that anyone's worried about the fish being radioactive. Um, they still do test all the, all the vegetables, meat, and fish that come out of Fukushima. The government does test it for safety, and they've never had uh, a single case of something uh, exceeding food safety levels. Uh, and they do it for assurance, but of course, still nobody wants to buy anything labeled Fukushima. And this is what they're, they're pointing out. It's not so much that they're afraid that the food's going to be, you know, contaminated or dangerous. It's that it's, people are very much going to believe that that's the case and avoid it. And it's just going to ruin. And Fukushima, again, is uh, was known as a breadbasket prefecture in Japan. It was a, a primarily food. So it was most of the food that you get in most of the restaurants in Tokyo was grown in Fukushima. It was basically just a huge amount of farms and fishing. Um, that's what the prefecture was. So, you know, you can't really understate the extent to which the Fukushima accident 
um, damage that prefecture. You, you know, it's a big difference between, you know, Three Mile Island being close to New York City um, and this being close to basically, you know, contaminating something like Japan, sort of Texas. It's a big sort of large heartland prefecture that just produces a ton of food. Um, so it's been a lot to overcome over a long period of time. And this is obviously being taken by the Fishermen's Association as uh, a kick in the nuts. Um, but there again, they just can't store it on land anymore. And there, there's another problem, of course, which is that um, the tanks themselves are starting to wear with age. And, um, you know, that can cause leaks, which can cause the material to go into the groundwater. And, and everyone seems to agree, including the, the International Atomic Energy Association. The U.S. government, by the way, endorsed this as well. That, you know, if you're going to have this water go anywhere, you want it to go into the ocean uh, more than you want it to go into your groundwater. Um, and that is the risk at the moment. So, um, you know, apparently, um, yeah, as the red value says, if it's just tritium, that's okay. You know, they're, they're, they're scientifically speaking, isn't a lot to talk about. But I think we're living in a world that's increasingly, well... Has been, with regards to nuclear, you could say it's kind of been post-science for a long time. Uh, you know, you have the um, the kind of anti-science, but at the same time doesn't trust government, doesn't trust uh, the power companies that are telling you it's okay, um, and, and and presumes caution. You know, uh, by default presumes. Um, you know, your science says that it's safe, but how do you really, really know? I mean, you know, can you prove it? Which is a little bit of an anti-vax, anti-science, anti-climate change kind of uh, angle at things. But it's one that the nuclear movement's used for a long time, the presumption that, you know, any amount of this stuff could kill people and, and you know what it's going to do long term and how can you say it's really safe? And, and the old thing, would you drink the water? And frankly, you know, South Korea has acted hysterically in response and they're talking about taking Japan to the world court over trying to try to get them to stop doing this. Japan has pointed out that actually Korea has nuclear reactors that put out exactly the same water into the Sea of Japan, except of course they freak out if you call it the Sea of Japan, at higher concentrations than what they're proposing to release from here. Um, that said, I actually believe that Korea's freaking out is probably sincere. They, 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 they really are prone to freaking out like in extreme ways about, you know, all this sort of stuff, and they certainly did. Uh, in the original nuclear accident, there were people, you know, buying and, and swallowing and getting sick from swallowing too much iodine when Fukushima happened in Korea, more than it was happening here in Japan. China's a little bit different. China is also sort of poking, saying, you know, the, the Chinese foreign minister said that Taro Aso said that if it meets the standards for drinks, for safe drinking water, then why doesn't the foreign minister try drinking it? It is, of course, seawater that is a small problem. Um, but, um, you know, the point is the Chinese government, they, 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 they pump this stuff into the, into the water all the time. They don't care. They just, they, they're, they're just poking the, I wouldn't even call it the bear, obviously in Japan's case, but, uh, you know, the wolf warrior, uh, diplomacy thing that they're doing the way they're just going to pick fights with everybody. That's what China does. And that, that's, you can just ignore them about that. But, um, yeah, yeah, I, I do believe that, uh, South Korea is, uh, it's a little bit hypocritical and ignorant the way that they're freaking out, but it's sincere. I mean, the freaking out seems to be something that they just uh, are prone to doing. And yeah, it is likely that there is going to be a protest over it. And, and again, I, and you know, in Korea, um, they won't hesitate to, to, to use this as an opportunity to, to slap at Japan, and they're already protesting to America, even though America's already endorsed it. Where am I at on this? I recognize that they don't have a choice. Um, they just don't have a choice. The, the, they have to do this, and I'm, I trust the science. I trust that they are. I don't believe that the government of Japan is in some sort of conspiracy with the power companies to poison everyone in Japan. Um, I know some people lean towards that presumption of conspiracy by default, but no, most people who work for government work in government because they want to do good for their grandma and their, their, their you know, their, their, their families and their communities and so on. This is why people work in government and, you know, the, the idea that the entire local and national governments of Japan could be in a conspiracy to, you know, to, to actually secretly poison. Granted, there are historical negative precedents like the Minamata um, thing and so on, but that, you know, um, that, that was a pretty bad case. But uh, it's pretty clear there's solid science behind this being 
safe so for now i kind of i kind of recognize it's not that desirable listening to it it doesn't change like this fukushima was putting out this sort of wastewater when it was operating normally and i was surfing right beside i have surfed right beside that nuclear power plant i mean i wasn't really thinking about the tritium in the water and maybe i might have even changed my mind if i thought about it at the time that i was there when the plant was operating normally but um you know again knowing what i know what i'm reading about this i actually am not worried about going surfing in ibaraki down current from uh Fukushima um, but that said the freak out thing it is always funny to see how you know some countries like like more than Korea even Germany actually reacted more freak outishly to Fukushima than Japan did um, you know they banned all nuclear power and went back to fossil power you know and actually and, and like Japan switching over the fossil power when they shut down the nuclear power plants Germany as well did a lot of um, damage to the climate and to, to the environment you know doing that um, there's no good solution to this, but um, yeah, yeah. Um, I admit the, the government's probably done this, tried to do this, pick a timing to announce this, which is slightly, although it is ahead of the Olympics, so if people want to make a fuss about it, they can totally do that. So it's interesting timing, but um, I don't think they have a choice, and apparently that's the situation that, you know, they have to start letting this stuff out. So, um, yeah, we'll see. It's, it, it kind of sucks, uh, and not everyone's going to react irrationally to it, and I do hope that... Uh, the government has to, uh, you know, they don't have a choice in this. They have to monitor. They have to be transparent about it um, and give all the assurance. And I think they have to give compensation to the to the fishermen and so on that are affected by it. But, yeah, it's going to happen. So that is that's kind of big news. And I, I, I guess for p people that are, for nations that are ambivalent, that are very anti-nuclear, like New Zealand, who are ambivalent about whether to go to the Olympics or not, uh, this, could, this could be something that they could choose as an excuse to make a stand on. So we'll see. Um, Sergeant Bilko, I, uh, yes, into the comment, Sergeant Bilko, I surfed there in my pre-bald life. Yeah, in fact, that might be what did it. <laughs> Surfing in Chiba, I was, uh, yeah, you yeah, Mr. Cordy chap, I see that, I see where you went with that, there we go. Well, uh, no, no, it was, uh, probably not the, uh, nuclear power station runoff, uh, that, that, that caused it, but, uh, yeah, yeah, it was, uh, good times best surfing of my life i, I swear to god I've, I've surfed i tell you what the best surf spot in the world is rainbow bay green mount in uh Kulungeta, uh in australia for me that is the best surf spot anywhere however the best day surfing that i've ever had was uh actually not far it was in minami minami soma about 20 less than 20 maybe 10 kilometers away from fukushima daiichi um, so it's a special place for me, um, you know, obviously not going back there. I'm pretty sure that place actually would have been so destroyed by the tsunami probably that you wouldn't be surfable anymore or accessible. But um, yeah, 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 special place. Nice to see some uh, fresh names in the comments there as well. I see Kareem Nishkor, good to have you there in the comments. Um, I think they'll make the news, uh, make people think it's all they can do. Yeah, well, the government will have, will have certainly have a narrative and will, you know, um, as we know, news is uh, international news. I'm sure will pick up the uh, more of the sensational angle, and we'll see how it goes. But yeah, Erin, uh, uh, is that the, because the ocean current naturally moves west? No, it doesn't. It if anything, it moves east. Uh, the current surfer dude. The current in Fukushima actually goes north to southeast. So it blows out into the Pacific. If anyone should be, you know, if anyone has any any slightly legitimate right to be pissed off about this, it would be Alaska and Washington State and, and Canada. Um, and that's, you know, basically where all the debris washed washed up from the uh, from the tsunami. You know, those places, uh, they, they know. I mean, it skips over Hawaii because Hawaii is too far south. It doesn't really have to go all the way around the country to go into the Sea of Japan, but but they're going to freak out. I mean, that's, that's just... Uh, Here's the thing, uh, while I think it's completely, uh, it's, uh, not completely irrational, apparently there, there are simulations which sort of show that in about five years' time, some of that water can make it round into the Sea of Japan. But, you know, um, yeah, freaking out is just something that they, that Korea does, uh, and, and and that Japan just has to, has to manage, you know, has, has to deal with, um, uh, which is part of being in the neighborhood. So, yeah, um, uh, yeah, who else we got near? Any other comments? Uh, just going through as fast as I can. Let's release dangerous water. That'll really help our PR. Yeah, indeed. Well, it does, certainly, it's it's never going to look good. Uh, fact is, I mean, if people realize, um, 
for any nuclear power station, even one working normally, people obviously, governments and power stations don't draw a lot of attention to their operating nuclear power stations. But in France and all over America, both coasts, I mean, they've got nuclear power plants up and down and they're always releasing exactly this sort of water. And yeah, I, I think there are people who know about it and are always freaked out about it, but they don't get a lot of attention. But here's a good opportunity for them to draw that attention. If you're a committed anti-nuclear activist and there are a lot, I come from a country of them. Um, yeah, yeah, I think they're gonna they're gonna ride this one uh, all the way in, <laughs> um, and, and, and you know what? I think you're entitled to be anti-nuclear. You're entitled to to state, you know, we don't know all the risks and so on. But um, you know, um, I don't like when it becomes unscientific, uh, which I think it, it, it does sometimes. And it's a pretty easy issue to appeal to um, to appeal to emotion and what. Imagine Germany's freak out if there is bad news about one of France's nuclear power plants. Yeah, I can imagine Germany actually trying to physically try to change its location in France. And you know it's going to happen at some point. I mean, I yeah. But poor old Germany, I mean, they were right beside Ukraine when, um, you know, not, well, not bordering, but pretty close to, uh, they, they caught Chernobyl pretty hard. Um, so I kind of do understand, the, you know, they're, they're speaking from a bit of experience, but yes, uh, certainly they're right beside. I, uh, but on the other hand, they get, they, they get power from those power stations in France as well. Um, and it's cleaner than a lot of the stuff that they're producing. So yeah, yeah, they're in a tough spot. Um, Kerberos Tenshi, Germany doesn't care about nuclear waste from France, doesn't even care about their own nuclear power plants. There's one in Hamburg running, regularly leaks, so that's good to know. Yeah, yeah. Um, New Zealand actually, um, in 1984, when uh, we, we had a law which basically outlawed all nuclear weapons, all American, it broke off the security treaty with the US, outlawed nuclear power. The only thing it didn't outlaw was uh, radio. Well, my dad would always point this out because he was a redneck. <laughs> military person who was annoyed that we broke off the military alliance with America, but he pointed out that they're not banning the radio, the radiology and the cancer treatment centers, which is a fair point. Um, we do have and handle radioactive material in New Zealand for medical purposes. And of course, the medical purposes are okay, but you know, it is a little bit anti-scientific. It's, it's fear of radiation, you know, except in where, where it's helpful. Um, that's right. I, I'm, I had to mention this. Uh, Dinsu, uh, you know, with the, when, in Japan, when you need to control the minds of the public about a sensitive issue, um, there is only one ad company. There's basically the advertising in Japan. Um, there, may, there is the facade of there being, you know, different advertising companies, but they're all in one way or another controlled by one um, sort of evil corp <laughs> corporation called Dentsu. Um, which actually is 0.01% uh, uh, creative geniuses. Like if you really want to be involved in TV, media, um, promotion and advertising, and you're a great copywriter or a creative designer or a creative commercial, you want to create TV commercials or whatever, that 0.01% Dentsu gets the cream. They get the, the pick of everybody in Japan and they actually produce a lot of great stuff. But the other 99.99% of Dentsu are salespeople. Um, and, and, and bribe givers and takers, um, more or less, is sort of by, by reputation. They're a little bit mafia esque, and uh, so yeah. When the government, you know, um, basically had when, when they had a problem and there was no one else that they could go to, they went to the Densu Godfathers and they said, "Hey, can you can you make this whole releasing contaminated Fukushima water into the Pacific Ocean? Uh, you know, can you give us your genius marketing campaign on that?" Densu, in their infinite wisdom, uh after many many months they came back uh, with this uh, it's a mascot it's called tritium kun uh, or tritium chan i believe it's a baby tritium it's this cute uh, slightly radioactive chemical symbol uh, in a bubble of water um, and you're supposed to look at this and think wow that's so cute i want to drink that and the government looked at it and everybody looked at it and they all sort of there were, there were crickets chirping for a while and they said hmm, you know what, I think we'll pass on this particular mascot. And everyone's a bit disappointed they passed on it. And then in Parliament, someone said, so how much did this cost? And uh, the, 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 the minister involved responded, oh yeah, that cost $3.7 million. Uh, and then they asked, who, who, and who was this money paid to? And they were like, oh, Denson. I mean, basically, I get the feeling this was not the 0.001% genius creative people. This is probably... Uh, a dodgy salesperson who <laughs> had some crayons and, 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 and some uh, too much confidence. 
Oh, they probably created this. So, um, yeah, it's good to be Denzu. What, what, what can you say? You draw a cartoon character, have it discarded after a day, and collect three point seven million dollars. Um, yeah, that that the that, that Japan scrapped the mascot promoting the Fukushima wastewater dub. I mean, they they genuinely have mascots for everything here, uh, and, and even that one. But uh, apparently, not even Denzu could make uh, dumping nuclear wastewater from Fukushima into the ocean look good. But you think they would at least make an effort, right? I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm not sure I would drink that. You know, it looks like an amoeba or something um, with, with some ra like radioactive symbols on top, like a radioactive ame amoeba. I, I'm not 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 what I want to drink. Anyway, so that's the thing that happened. 